Hey guys, what's up? It's the Wario here. Welcome back to another Phoenix Wright episode. I'm going to make this short. We're getting on to this investigation. We're talking to Ms. Olbag and, uh, that, wow, that was really fast. Let me slow it down for everybody. Alright, <laughs> what's up, guys? My intros are always so weird. What's up, guys? Um, we're back again with another Phoenix Wright episode. We got talking to Ms. Olbag about stuff. I think the producer or the director did it. One of them did. There's no way Will Powers did it. And the Steel Samurai costume was stolen, so we got to figure out why. And, yeah, that's about it. Oh, man. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I had a yawn stretch. All right, producer Vasquez. Um, I was wondering about Dee Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. So she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Oh, damn. That's actually pretty upsetting. Can I ask you about Salmonal, the, the director? Sal, he's soft, a pushover, does whatever Vasquez tells him to do. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Er, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. Okay, that was a weird conversation. About Mr. Hammer. Urgh! I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old Hammer, you drag his star down from the sky and stomp on it. Calling him a criminal, a thief. I, 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 I won't forget this. Uh oh, she's really pissed this time. Uh, wow, another curse word. Uh, wow, I, I never thought that... Okay, whatever. You listen to me, Whippersnapper! My poor old Hammer would never do such a thing! Why would he steal Powers' costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low! It's impossible! Okay, you damn lady, chill out! Calm your tits! I'm leaving. We don't have anything else to talk to, so we might as well go to the employee area next. October 19th, Global Studios, employee area. I guess they're not filming today either. I did want to see them filming, just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Yeah! No, no, no! No, touch it! Eek! Oh, that was really loud. That eek hurt my ears. Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. D didn't mean? I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, I guess it can be a little dramatic at times. Oh, I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatic indeed. Uh -huh. Anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Trace is thereof. Hey, so are we. Or I guess we are now. So you're looking for traces of sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capability to make a cursory examination right here! Our science guy gave me some testing solution! This reacts to sleeping pills, see? If there are traces, it'll change color! Wow, neat! Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? No, no, everything in due time, pal! Yeah, I wanna see this. This actually seems pretty fun. <laughs> I wanna see it happen. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, alright! Oh, I wanted to see it! So, there were sleepy pills on the plate. Looks like it. I want to see it change colors, damn it. <laughs> Whatever, okay. How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Oh, uh, I'm gonna burp. There we go. Let's talk about him. How was Edgeworth doing anyway? Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room, and he crushed this paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Damn. <laughs> That's so out of control. Watch, everybody. We've got a badass over here. Whoa. Talk about birds, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups. Bottles. Say, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. So that means... Yep, it sounds like the one who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Yeah, that was kind of obvious. <laughs> okay. So, 
now I guess we're done. Let's go in the dressing room and see if we can find anything in there. Might as well! Oh, hello. Hey, you're that chick that traded that UP card for the Yerp card. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? What? Why? But WP's innocent! Yes, and I'm really grateful for all that you've done, but this week is the last episode of The Steel Samurai. What? No! <laughs> oh, well. Well, the evil magistrate is dead, so, I mean, like, in real life, so... Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought you went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume, too! What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true, then. The rumor? Yeah. Miss Vasquez, that producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set? Is that trailer part of the film set, then? Wh what do you mean, The Last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No! No! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kid shows anymore. Wh what Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. That sucks. Why aren't they going to make kid shows anymore? The studio bigwigs don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? It's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. We'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true! If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure! Nick, say something! Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. Oh gosh, um, what are we trying to prove? That there's fans of the show? I'm pretty sure Maya does that already. Um, well, this kid makes this book of Steel Samurai victories, so there's a fan here if you want to take a look at that. And this is? A fan collected all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be canceled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. With your Yerp cards. <laughs> You're right. Okay. Uh, but what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Alright, there we go. We got it. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago someone died, and it was Hammer's fault. What? So someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway... Producer Miss Vasquez managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on hit Mr. Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. And they were afraid about what would happen to his career before it got out. I see. You know who, who knows more about this? Miss Oldbag. She was here at the studios back then, you know? Thanks. We'll try asking her. Hawk. Yeah. Alright, thanks. You were a lot of help, actually. So, 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 Mr. Oh, God, that just started there. So, Mr. Hammer killed someone five years ago by accident. And that's why, maybe that's why he's playing these crappy roles. I don't know. Let's go talk to Miss Oldbag. What? You're still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. E everybody's going to... Uh, everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer! It's all due to Hammer! She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance? No, we gotta talk to her no matter how much she froths. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Uh-oh.
I'm sorry. I didn't want to ask you about five years ago. Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, huh? Nichols! Nick. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm so confused. Okay, N Nichols? Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. That assistant we talked to? Uh, oh, uh, shit! I did it again! Oh my gosh. Every time it... Honestly, here's a little voice acting thing while you're playing a game at the same time. If it's if it just dramatically changes on a character like it just did, my brain automatically assumes that that character's talking, and she's moving her mouth too. So it makes me automatically think like, oh, she's talking. I better speed it up and go along with it. I never read the names. Maybe we should start doing that. Uh, oh, right. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Wh Whippersnappers! Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that, and the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? N no, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume? You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume? Hmm. What proof do we have? Proof that he stole the all the sleeping pills, right? I mean, it's pretty. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Oldbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. It's a sleeping pills, right? Take that! Here's my proof. What? What's a little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills with Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. What, what does that prove? I I'm sure if old Hammer had some sleepless nights. Where's your proof that he used those pills on Powers? Well, the plate. Next. Take that! Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, so? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. Uh-oh. I think she understands now. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Old Bag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Miss Old Bag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She has ties to the Mafia. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, that's a little intimidating. She silenced that paparazzi. Um, that was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand, poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. Miss Old Bag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Old Bag. Here, take this. A photograph? Oh my gosh! Wait a second! This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? I mean, Hammer was supposed to fight with a guy on the top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. But, but how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Wow. Um, let me take a little gander at this photograph again. So, Jack Hammer's up there holding what looks to be like a tennis racket that looks like Ms. Vasquez right there, but who is this guy that's on these kunai knife looking things? Wow, that really sucks. Alright, I guess we're going to Studio 2 then. The, 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 I don't know, I guess we're, that's our best option right now is to go to Studio 2 and figure out what the hell happened. October 19th, Studio 1 entrance. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer. I never even thought of that, actually. Yeah, why would he come here? I don't know. Wait, maybe this Vasquez knows something about... Uh, speak of the devil, but maybe she knows something about the five-year-old thing, because I want to get more depth into it. Okay, hold on. I feel like burp coming on. Hold on. Ugh. I'm not even drinking carbonated drinks. Why am I burping? <laughs> I learned my lesson last time. <laughs> October 19th, Studio 2 entrance. Hey, Nick! It's Miss Vasquez! Hello? Oh, I forgot how vague she was. Hello! H-E-L-L-O! H-E-L-L-O! Hello! I mean, H-E-L-L-O! 
<laughs> Maya, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. What the hell? Are you high? That's all she had to say, apparently. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we have a lot to talk about, if you'll talk! Um, excuse me, Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... Shh. Question mark? Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, do something, Nick! She's really ticking me off! Go beat her up. <laughs> oh dear. Oh wait, she just ties the mafia. Don't do that. <laughs> um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You, you did it! Nick, she did it! She's the killer! My fey blood speaks to me! I know it! I know it! Oh dear. Yeah, don't- I- I have suspicions of both of them, like Manila and her. Just don't, 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 don't. She has ties to the Mafia and I kinda wanna live. <laughs> um, I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manila. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer? By yourselves? Oh. Oh dear. Um, you want us to go in the trailer? Cool. I have a really sinking feeling that there's a trap in there, and I'm just gonna do it anyway because I'm a gullible little tart. October 19th, Studio 2 trailer. Wasn't the assistant cleaning up yesterday? Funny, it still seems pretty messy in here. I guess she was still on a high from getting that rare card she needed. So, what the hell was the point of coming in here? Exactly. I don't understand what the point of this was. Um, okay, <laughs> let's go back out. Wait a minute, what about that photo we got from Miss Olbag? We have to ha we need her to tell us some information about this. Let's see if presenting it to her will make a talk. Uh-oh, she's not even looking. Where? What? what Where did you get that? I, well... Olbag. Uh, old? She means the security lady, Miss Olbag, Nick. Right. Anyway, Miss Vasquez, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer! The wind. The... huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Uh... Nick! She went inside the trailer! I... okay, now I have a really sinking feeling about this. I don't know about this, but okay. Hmm, <laughs> you came. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez, you were not using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kids' shows for petty change. <laughs> so I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident, but you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star! Oh. I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But, but! You were the cause! You pressured him! And to think it was just an accident! Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think, what would it be if it wasn't an accident? Uh-oh. No. No. No way! You mean Mr. Hammer did it? On purpose? That is what I mean. Wh where's your proof? Can you prove it? <laughs> Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But the security lady said it was an accident! Oh, well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hands, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me, now. What? This is valuable evidence! Boys! Oh! Uh, hi, guys! Oh, man. 
Oh, you, well, you must be Armin, you must be Aaron, you must be Reiner, and you must be Jean, right? <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? What do you like to do? Would you like to be erased? What? what? The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, erase away. No! So are we dead? Oh, they're right there! Yes! Oh my gosh! My best friend came to rescue me! I heard everything, pal! D. Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now! I didn't think the song played out of court, but okay, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow then, in court. I'll be looking forward to it. Okay, so we're not going to die, right? We're not going to get killed by those guys? <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, you okay, pal? Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. I'm just doing my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just I've wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. That's actually pretty awesome. Okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. What an awesome guy. He saved our lives. Well, Nick, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. Who's at the bottom? He has quiz. Okay, all right, I guess I'm guessing the trial starts tomorrow. All right, I guess we could push like three minutes into it. All right. Save. That was scary. I thought we were going to die, or at least get beat up pretty badly. <laughs> Gosh, Detective Gumshoe for the win. Seriously. October 20th, 10 o'clock a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Okay, I, this is the last court day. We need to get stuff done today. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Whale Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today I will call on people present in, present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. <laughs> Everybody laughed. <laughs> Make all your first witness, Mr. Edworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Gosh, I'm stumbling over words. I, it's like, I, I, I'm stumbling so bad. Okay. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I'm the producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. Is anyone here knows, yes? I just like me this banter. If you must pon pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <laughs> Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. R right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm pretty... Like, my mind is definite on her being the killer now, just because of what happened yesterday. And she has mafia ties, so it just clears it up all the more. Um, next episode, I'm going to end it here. Next episode, we're going to hear a testimony, and we're going to basically prove her guilty. I'm pretty sure she did. I mean, like, <laughs> there's no way she didn't do it. If my name's not Phoenix Wright. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Please like, leave a like, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.